Saudi cleric uh, says it is prohibited to protest in Islam in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. A prominent Saudi cleric, Sheikh Asim al Hakim, um, has received criticism over his response to a question posed to him on Twitter regarding the permissibility of protesting in Islam, specifically in light of the ongoing demonstrations in the U.S. over the murder of an unarmed black suspect, George Floyd, by Minneapolis police officers. He tweeted simply, quote, it is not permissible to protest in Islam. Uh, one user countered with the widely known prophetic narration, quote, Whoever, uh, whosoever of you sees an evil action, let him change it with his hand. And if he is not able to do so, then with his tongue. And if he is not able to do so, then with his heart. And that is the uh, weakest of faith, end quote. However, there are many users who shared uh, the Sheikh's interpretation. Wait, wasn't Muhammad protesting against the Qureshi tribe when he brought Islam? I mean, you you bring up you bring up some good points, but this guy says it's not permissible. I mean, no. the entire foundation of your religion is based on allegedly is based on Muhammad protesting against the authority religion that was ruling over Arabia. So there's that. I mean, did I just destroy you or his entire argument in one sentence? Didn't I? I did. <laughs> right? I mean, it's so not to be blasphemous. Muhammad was blaspheming, protesting. He waged an army against the religious authority of Islam. He did, he did way more than protesting. He just he struck down their idols. He made it illegal for them to uh, leave Islam. Like, this is like, what the hell are you even talking about? I mean, I guess what a Muslim would say would be like, okay, yeah, but that's the only, only it's basically, that's the only way it's allowed, <laughs> right? If you're, cha if you're protesting for Islam, it's allowed, but anything else is not allowed, right? So once you, I mean, would this guy, this, I mean, even this guy probably would be, if, if it was protests in the United States and Muslims wanted to bring like a, Sharia law in the United States and there was Muslims like in the streets and all that. This guy would probably be like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? This guy would be for that. Actually, I don't know because these are Saudi clerics and they don't want the United States to be threatened in any way. That's their only ally right now. Their entire existence <laughs> depends on the United States being a powerful country. They're desperately trying to look for an alternative. That's why they're playing uh, footsie with China because they're worried about who's going to replace the United States once they're not as powerful as they used to be. This is why they uh, look at China and be like, yeah, you're doing, you know, you want to put Muslims in concentration camps? This great job on your anti-terrorism activities. China. This is why they they think like that. But yeah, so these are a bunch of hypocrites. We all know that. And this is just same news as usual. But what do you guys think? Ready? Rivka, you're muted. Um, well, I was going to say, and it also mentions this in the article as well. I mean, he's got this sort of pervasive view of Islam um, everywhere. But I'm thinking, you know, the Islam that he lives under, the country that he lives in, in Saudi Arabia, sure, it's not permitted to protest. So he's. it seems like he's kind of taking that and extrapolating it for every situation. But I think your your point is valid, Armin, that it's always sort of, uh, if it's against anything other than something we want to be against, mm. then it's wrong. Yeah. Because what about the cartoon protests? Should they have, you know, somebody like this might say, you know, might agree with those cartoon protests, but that's protesting. Yeah. So, yeah. It just seems hypocritical and sort of just pat answer like him saying, nah, just don't do it and not waving his hand away. This is this is actually a joke among us ex-Muslims. You know, the when we when people when Muslims tell us like, oh, you guys shouldn't be insulting Islam or blaspheming or something like that. We're like we always tell them like, you know, this we're just following the way of the prophet. Am I freezing? Yes. Yes. Yep. So I'm freezing. A lot. Anyway.
news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You, we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this they're like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that link there's a link in the description uh which is to our newsletter so hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized. And that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So